So my name is Scott Harris and I'm the co-founder of Catoctin Creek Distillery. There's a lot of craft whiskey out on the market today that's made in a big factory in Indiana or in Kentucky, but we actually make our whiskey here and we make it organically. Uh, we're also a zero waste facility, so all of our byproducts, all of our waste are, are used in some way or another. We hit craft whiskey just about the right time. So since we've been in business about six years, we've doubled our business every year since we've started. Revenue-wise, we started out very small, and now we're about a $2 million company. We use a lot of energy when we make whiskey. We're boiling liquids, and boiling, of course, requires a lot of heat and a lot of energy. And uh, around here, that energy is coal and gas. And so we felt a little hypocritical being a green, sustainable company using so much electricity. So we decided to install solar in 2013. We were able to make solar work because we were in the middle of an expansion. We were able to essentially put it into the expansion loan that we already had for upgrading the building and getting some equipment. And that basically pushed it into our loan payments and freed up a lot of cash. So I have an app on my phone which lets me see the status of the solar system on the roof. So with that, um, we can actually see a real-time picture of the array up on the roof. In our case, the solar helps bring our costs of electric usage down from about $1,000 a month down to $200 a month. That's a big difference in what we're uh, paying then for an electric bill, and I can free that money up for buying other things like grain and bottles and barrels and things like that. It really helps us a lot. In addition to that, what made the system very much more affordable for us were some of the federal tax credits that we were qualified for. And those brought the cost of the system down to a point where the payback on the system ultimately will be about eight years, which in the whiskey business, that's, we'll take that any time. You know, our philosophical feelings about sustainability and the, the green economy and everything aside, when it came right down to it, solar was the right choice for our business from an economic standpoint. After we installed our solar system, we heard of so much interest out there by other businesses. I really feel like if there were more incentives available for our individuals or businesses, that people would really be excited to be able to realize the kind of savings we are. So our bill would have been about seven times higher in this particular month had we not had solar. The state of Virginia doesn't really have a whole lot of um, renewable energy standards or assistance. If there were more, it would certainly help more businesses like my own. I can't see why every business in our town, every business in the county shouldn't have solar up on the roof. It's like a wasted opportunity to not have it up there.